saying. They paid a full average. That's not what who's I'm gonna saying. Pay, who's going to pay the gasoline yeah. back? Not she not wants to have a food tag money. and wants to take money out of another account to pay for people's personal gasoline. But that's their money. Let's go. Whether it's Come right or wrong or what they're doing. Even Table if you vote or it's nobody's you know money to steal, Tony. And that's what happened. It's their money. 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 Can we come back around, please? There's a motion to table. Is there a motion to table? Yes. And who made the motion to table? Can I get clarification? I did. Craig made the motion to table. This man off and seconded, so it would be appropriate to vote on the motion. Motion to table. That's right. Go ahead. Roll call. Mrs. Prey. Yes. Table it. Mrs. Van Auken. President Williams. I'm going to say yes to the next meeting. Ms. You told me on Thursday you have a meeting on next Thursday. That you're going to straighten this out. Yes, I am. So I'm going to table it. Yeah, yeah. Um, can I? Um, Go ahead. Continue to vote. Come I didn't on. talk Ms. to anybody else. Can you please give me the same respect? We were at a meeting and we came to an agreement after next Thursday um, that you were going to pay this bill or you're going to come to Freddie, myself, and Massa. And I'm not hiding it. Freddie, Massa, and myself. And you were going to give us answers, and you was going to tell us how it was going to be paid back. Yes, I did. You were going to and question you were going your to members. Me, and you were going to tell me what account I have to pay it back. No, no, they're going to take it out of their pocket and put it in the account. We are not taking money out of the money. Come on, Come on. Motion on the floor. Oh <laughs> Miss Betty, yes. what time is your meeting on next Thursday? 8 o'clock. And Mr. Lesher, myself, and Massa will be there? <coughs> You're very welcome. Can we okay, can and Mr. Lesher? No, I'll be there. Okay. Can we finish the vote? So I tabled it. This is a motion to table. A vote. Mr. Lesher. Uh, I'm not voting. I'm voting uh, not to table it. Mr. Muser. No. Mr. Brundage. No. Mrs. Kamara. You know to table it. So Mrs. Okay. Table table Muser, until you become a council person, be quiet and sit in the audience. Thank you. You are out of order. This is your first warning. Was the motion tabled? It was. Yes. Table four to three. Four to three. Okay. Do we have any more? And the only thing I'm saying to the fire department. No, that's a talk with you. The only thing I'm saying to, with all due respect. I hope I've not made it and out of our next Thursday. You're not. Okay. Um, can I sure. say something? Sure. No. Public comments over. Is there any no. more voting tonight? There is. Yeah. Oh, we got to get going well, here. I don't, if there's new business, um, I don't know what. Public safety report. Public safety, right? Oh, uh, Jesse, Jesse, Jesse. Are right. there reports we voting on? Do we, are we voting on any legislation or anything? No. There's requests Come on. to approve motions under the borough manager's report. And there's new business. I mean, I don't know. We can't have motions under the borough manager's report. Oh, it's just a report. Guys, come on. I'm not being right, disrespectful. Go ahead, right, Jesse. Uh, about staffing. Uh, our mayor and chief are in the, is in the process of interviewing applicants for possible hiring at the next council meeting. Background checks are almost completed. Resumes of the eligible to? applicants will be distributed to council. And then the uh, crime reports included uh, domestic takes the lead with 17 incidences and uh, the ambulance squad cars uh, is second with 16. That's the end. Okay, I have a question on the um, safety report. Um, the mayor and the chief council has to be in on the interview. Yeah, mm -hmm. It will be president council. There's a committee uh, normally. Mm -hmm. Madam President, you allowed you any question on the public safety uh, issue? Our public comments are over for the okay. day. All right. Okay, is there a motion to I'll make a motion to accept the public safety report as read. Motion second. 
Yep. Just need to call. Okay. I just need to vote on the motion. Okay. Can I um, get a roll call on the motion? To accept the public safety report? Yes. Uh, Mrs. Pry. I'm going to say no due to the fact that it has in there that the um, safety, the, the chief and the mayor are hiring to be brought up at the next meeting without council having anything to do with it. That is illegal. So I'm going to say no. Mrs. Van Alken. No. M President Williams. No. Mr. Lesher. Uh, yeah. I'm focused on Ms. Mr. Muser. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Brundage, yes. Mrs. Kamara. Finance and ordinance report, Madam President. Finance and ordinance. Oh, here we go. go buddy. They got, they got a, uh, a report. Everybody can grab that. I don't really want to uh, read the, what's in the tax account and everything. And, uh, you know, I, I personally think that uh, we still have to cut. Uh, the, yeah, and the bills are over there review. I still think we still have to cut. We have a borough receptionist <laughs> that works six hours a day. From what I get reports, she only wants to answer the phone. If that's true, then maybe we should cut her hours. She has a job description. What, what what's your job description? You want me to give it to you? I'll bring it to you. She Reception. has a job description. We need a she clerk. has a job description. And when we need a clerk. She it, we don't need a clerk because a clerk and I know why you're saying that. You yeah. won't let Tracy into the union, but you're gonna bring back a oh, union. And job. I, that's my next. We do not we cannot continue to afford to pay Tracy Bell to ride around this town and basically right now this time of year and do nothing okay i see it's, i'm in the neighborhood i see his truck parked at different places he wants to get into the union he did we never voted you know to give tracy bell a full-time so job anybody is but y'all gave it to him no i didn't give it to y'all have gave it to y'all better get you to him you want to stick me in the union to cost another twenty thousand dollars because he's your friend just it, like it, the rest you, of your friends no, you came to this town no. and milked this barrel no Tracy was part of the recreation. That's what he's well, been since he's been here. He was not union. When you put him in the highways, you automatically put him in the union. Well, Municipal yeah. employees yeah. are in the are, are covered in the union. We don't have money to pay him, and we don't have money to pay Dina. I mean, not guess what? Guess what? They're the first two people guess guess to what? cut out guess what? I'm out. That. Because y'all going to have a whole lot on y'all, because I'm telling you right now. You know now, what, Tony? We have a whole lot. No. Not nobody that sits on this board. Right. You sit up here yeah. and lie, lie, and, and you cheated this bar out of it. And your friends cheated this bar out of hundreds of thousands of dollars and treated everybody in this town like they were dirt. All I okay? gotta say is, she put Tracy on the highways. The contract states anybody goes on the highway, they automatically go in the darn union. It's the contract. And that contract has been around since Like they were dirt. Hey, Freddie. Like hey, they were dirt, Joe oh, Nat. And guess who was responsible for that? You, because you never gave anybody else yeah, in the right. barrel a chance. <laughs> Give me a chance. A chance. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Yeah. 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 Freddie, y'all put, hey, put him on the highway. Now you want to get rid of him? Yeah, we can't That's afford it. the same way y'all put him in, in, in Maury Squawk as the, uh, the ordinance person. You got your back. And then y'all want to. Yeah, come back. Come on. 
Marcus. Oh, that's what bags on the It's my bags and the last I'm sorry, I'm sorry Marcus. I didn't hear you, hon. Honey, are you done your report? Yeah, I'm, I'm done. Part of the recreation, they put new basketball court in that back court. That's massive. Oh, that's massive. Oh, wait a minute. He took the gasoline from the burn truck and stuck it right in his car. Okay? And this guy's still working in his van. What about John? 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 What about I'm going to blow another fuse for you, though. No, no, okay. I'm okay with it. Um, as far as you're saying, we're, I'm tearing up my thing. As far as you're saying about Dania, we're going to lay Dania off. No, Dania has to. Dania has to. I do have a job to description sound. here for Dania. Okay, and if you want me to read it, I will read it. You just gave it to me. Okay. I'm going to pass this to all. Read it out loud so he knows what her job is. Her job's description is going to be communicate with the residents, employees, and other individuals to answer questions, disseminate or explain information, and address complaints. Answer telephones, direct calls, and take messages. Compile, copy, compile, copy, sort, and file records of office activities, business transactions, and other activities. Handle all incoming and outgoing mail. Operate office machines such as photocopies, scanners, facsimiles, machines, voicemail systems, and personal computers. Collect money orders, checks, and basic bookkeeping. Other duties as assigned by borough council. Now, do you have a problem with that? No, she's got to start doing more than what she's doing. That's my. The reason I wrote up a job description is because I personally, I, I'm not here every day, mm. but the days that I do come here, um, there's a lot of things that I don't think she's being given. Yep. And she, we she, know Paula is a control freak. No, nah, no. Nah. Excuse me, a control person. Madam I President, apologize. Madam President, let me address the situation. Dania downstairs, I like her. She came to me and Jesse. I don't know why she came to us and Paula and she asked for more responsibility. She wanted more responsibility and I said that's great. And she wanted a little bit of a raise because she hasn't had a raise in I think three years. Three or four years. I'm not sure exactly but three or four years. And I said I'm on board to giving you a little raise. Because she was hired by Tanet from a temp agency in Philadelphia and she came to us let me speak to that. Don't, Go ahead. Don't, don't. Paul, talk to me, please. And I said, yeah, I'll, I'll give you more responsibility and a little more money that, that we can afford. All right, so I'm on board with that. And, okay, and, and right. I'm on board with it, too. Right. And Freddie, if you want her to do the piles and piles, supposed to be, I don't know, I'm just saying what was mentioned last yeah, week, the of the tickets, yeah. as you say, revenue neutral. You have to give her a raise if you want her uh, well, to get it. You know what? I, I, we don't have money to give anybody a raise. We don't have She money. should be lucky she's we got a get, job. She'll make money on that. Okay. And, and, and For every ticket she processes, she'll, she'll, she'll get a dollar. Then you can give her a raise. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll she'll take a vote on for it. For because um, if and you're going to give her more, and she's money. going to bring you revenue. The bottom line is we're going to run out of money real soon. Okay, with those tickets sitting over there, boxes of tickets is not creating the revenue either. So if you got somebody doing them, you can't afford to pay her? No, she's sitting in six hours. There ain't that many phone calls. Well, I disagree with I can't do it without a processor for a dollar each. 
That would be two hundred hours. I can use two hundred hours. Yeah, I'm okay with it. You know what I mean? You gotta have been somewhere. It might. You gotta have been somewhere. Yeah, I'm okay with it. Do those tickets over there? I believe there. Been a, if, if things would have went my way, there'd been a whole bunch of people cut like okay. in February. So I just ran her job. Well, my other, my other question for finance is. Martha uh, has her hand. I know, I know, we're in October, right, Paula? And, and yes. we got to get this budget on the way. I know uh, Freddie. Freddie's willing to get involved, and he's he's the finance man. Uh, oh, I want to cut. Around. I know he wants to cut. But I would do. That's for get all involved. seven people to be involved in. Well, that. no, it's a finance committee. No, it's right. all seven people. No, you're the only person around this town. That's why it's so messed up. We're going to have a budget committee. Come on, whatever you want. We're going to keep my mouth shut for now. Whatever you want. You're a big disgrace. Mr. Lesher, we are going. A budget Whatever. committee. There you go. And the and people there will be. It's not a finance. 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 It's not a finance committee. And right. please, Mr. Muser, stop over talking me. Okay, I'm sorry. On about the me. budget committee will be Fred Lesher, Massa Camara, and myself. And once we get the budget together, all seven of council will sit in on the budget. That's a violation. It's not a violation. It That's was advised by the solicitor. Why can't I be on the um, Mrs. Muser, well, it's going to be quiet. Me too. Yeah. Uh, it's because it's only going to be three people. That way we can get it done and present it to council and study every meeting we go to. We argue and we get nothing done. Okay. When three people get the budget in place, then we will have a meeting with all seven council. Make a motion to accept the finance report as read. A second. Was it right? Yeah, it was a piece of paper know. right here. I don't know, but Paul needs to do it because he's, he's doing my job for me. Mr. McLean, do you see my hand? Yes, go ahead and ask. Made the motion, second it. Paul, correct me if I'm wrong. What's that, Martha? 2004 when I came on to Borough Council. Why are you keep bringing that? I don't remember that. How many highway meetings we had? Okay, I'll tell you we had. Johnson's Merrick and right. Mr. Brennan. That's two. And that was and that was too many, especially if they were in the union. Yeah, they were here for years. And the Republican, if Paul and his gang put them in the union, they should have been in the first place. Twenty-nine years of service to the man, Barry Johnson. I'm not saying anything about Johnson's Merrick. I'm saying we had two people then. And they were in we the went down at one. We hired somebody and we had to lay them off because we didn't have the money. And now we're back up to two again. Now you're going to hop. Now you're going to lay them off. Yeah, well, we got the same problem you have. We got to lay them off because we don't have the money. Then you know what? Yes. You know what? Right you know what? Right is there a motion and a second on the floor to accept the finance report? Mrs. Van Auken? Finance and ordinance. President Williams? Yes. Mr. Lasher? Uh, Voting on to accept your yeah, finance. Yeah, 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 I'm a, I'm Mr. Muser. Yes, Mrs. Brown. Mr. Brundage. Yes. Mrs. Kamara. Yes. 